O great creator, whose ear is open, and who is capable of everything, hear your children of Native America, O oh, you who sends water down from the sky, and bless the tribes, you propel the clouds, then bring them together, then pile them into a heap, and raindrops emerge from its midst. All the house of the Lord in Native America shall be filled with precious things, with silver, and gold, and spices, and precious ointment, and all the house of our armor will be filled with glory, and all that found in our treasures shall be like a covenant stone, polished and full of beauty. Blessed of the Lord be the land of the Native American tribes, for the precious things of heaven, for the dew, and for the deep that coucheth beneath. Amen. This is April Shall Ties. Native America is a covenant land, given by the Lord to his covenant people for a perpetual possession. But Native America was invaded by Rome, and Rome is ruthless. Genocide is going on today. This is Rome, and Rome wants you to die in the arena. My two brothers are dead and my niece is dead, and they came after me, too. Rome is into conquest, killing, and genocide. The forgotten genocide of Native Americans on the American continent was not forgotten by God, was not forgotten by God. This is April Shell Ties. In the 1800s, the son of a local Shoshone chief was wrongly accused of stealing a horse and hanged, even though everyone knew he was innocent. The boy was accused of stealing a horse near Summit Creek, now Smithfield Udor, but he was only fishing. Robert Thornley, a prominent resident of Summit Creek, knew the boy was innocent, and testified in his defense. But the Shoshone boy got no justice. The locals convicted him and hanged him, even though it was the Mering family that likely had the horse the entire time. The boy's name was recorded as Pugwini, but Pugwini is the Shoshone word for fish, so the boy may have been maintaining his innocence. They killed him anyway. Native Americans were frequently subjected to injustice, and could not even testify in court against whites. There's a forgotten genocide, right here in America. Millions of Native Americans were murdered, on their native lands. It was genocide. Never, never forget. We need justice. Return these lands to the Native American tribes. All of them. The scriptures say, Behold, the heaven and the heaven of heavens is the Lord's I God, the earth also, with all that therein is, the servants of God send the fertilizing winds, and send down water from the sky, and give it to you to drink, and you are not the ones who store it, it is we who give life and cause death, and we are the inheritors. This is April Shell Ties, using the computer to generate this message. This is Rome, and they decided to put me down. I survived, but you might not, if you fall into their trap. There is a secret out there, that they don't want you to know. Hypnosis is being used against you daily, and a hypnotist can control you. They only need to grab a hold of you, and now they control you from a distance. They can even hold conversations with you on the astral plane, which some people call the realm of thought, or the spirit realm. The well-known science of the mind author Joseph Murphy calls it the subconscious mind. Stay away from astral plane conversations. God does not talk to you. He talked with Moses, and gave Moses his law. God does not crack jokes or hold conversations with you. That's a human, impersonating a deity, a spirit, a fairy, a guardian angel. On the astral plane, these people are into genocide, and they are the same people who practiced genocide against Jews, Africans, Native Americans, and more. Don't have conversations on the astral plane. Stay in God's word. The scriptures say, O oh, children of Israel, remember my blessings which God bestowed upon you, and fulfill your pledge to him. As for those who disbelieve and reject God, God's signs, these are the inmates of the fire, wherein they will remain forever. This is the end of the thousand years tribulation. Psychic predators are using hypnosis and psychic attack against you. They use the unseen realm, also called the astral plane, the realm of thought, against you, and they call it science of the mind. They are humans, but they will impersonate God, guardian angels, and numerous other identities that are supposed to advise and direct you. Don't let them get away with it. Refuse to listen to them, and stay in God's word. Practice psychic self-defense. Do not have sex. Do not eat meat. Do not consume alcohol. Read the Bible. Respect all life. Exorcise these invaders. The Bible calls them demons. The scriptures say, as for those who believe, they know that it is the truth from their Lord. Do not mix truth with falsehood, and do not conceal the truth while you know. 